Most marketing agencies start off by sticking to one industry. This niching down strategy is popular with many agencies that we speak to. So we spoke to a chiropractic focus agency, which also focuses on local healthcare providers. Stina, Sherry and Heather from Vortala sat down with us to discuss how their marketing agency navigated their niche to help them grow. Founded in 2005, Vortala was focused on the chiropractic industry, but by 2014, they knew that they needed to expand their total addressable market. Smile Marketing, a dental division of Vortala, was created. I think that kind of was decided before I before I started in terms of where the interest lies in terms of the different verticals or services that we wanted to expand or explore. Um, so dental, I guess, I, it sounds kind of you know simple, I guess, or not not a great answer, but it just it seemed like it made the most sense in terms of maybe the needs of what the what the market needed. Um, but also what we felt we were equipped to do in terms of our expertise in that, um, moving into and testing the waters of a different vertical. As the agency scaled, Botala had its fair share of challenges, including an agency restructuring. We remained, you know, really flexible, kind of, and you know, meeting the needs of what what our clients need, our prospective new clients need. Um, and we've never really been scared to take on a full restructure <laughs> of the company when we deemed it necessary or um, in terms of technology, just understanding what what the needs are of our clients um, and bringing our ideas to life for scalability. As the agency scaled, they decided to expand their talent search to countries such as South Africa, Malaysia, even Romania. Yeah, we've really been exploring over the last year. We found a really, um, a really good group of people from South Africa who, um, uh, there's a lot of, I feel like there's longevity there. They're really, you know, great team members. Um, it was a new area that we explored. There's a lot of talent over there without a whole lot of opportunity. You know, <clears throat> on my team, um, especially i i oversee the seo team and um you know they there's interest and there's knowledge but not a whole lot of opportunity for them to you know do what they would love to do and we're happy to we're happy to provide that opportunity it's worked it's been mutually beneficial <laughs> sherry's seo team specializes in local SEO to help their healthcare clients grow their practices and their details to pay attention to, including the team's understanding of the local vernacular and the mindset of those searching. We're able to get into the minds of patients and really present the expertise of our doctors. Um, we're able to help give them advice in growing their practice um, and not just, you know, through patient numbers. I know we we help with branding and things like that. And you know, I, I think it, it just it comes from understanding the mindset of of what our doctors need. And you know, every practice is different as well. So, you know, we specialize in local SEO specifically because our, you know, our doctors, you know, they're not they're not looking for patients across the country, right? They they want people in their community. And so you know, also having an ability to, um, you know, do the proper research and, and try to get into the heads of the people in their, you know, their particular, you know, little, I don't know, almost microcultures, right? Understanding the local vernacular, how they think and they speak and what they're looking for in a doctor. And every bit of extra research that goes into onboarding a new client goes the extra mile in terms of helping Vortala's team focus on their client success. In the very beginning, when uh, a new client comes to us, uh, you know, we start with kind of an information gathering conversation, and then we send that information off to our internal teams. Um, so like Sherry's team does a very um, thorough analysis right at the onset, um, but providing the recommendations and the direction so we can create the website to have the targeting and be set up for, you know, long-term success. We don't use any plugins or apps to do this. You know, we have a team of people that does a manual, very thorough review at their existing SEO foundation. And then, you know, we'll make recommendations on a case by case basis for what they need to maybe clean, you know, think things that past companies, you know, maybe it's a very old website where things were built, you know, with very old best practices that, 
are not not okay to do anymore <laughs> you know and so we'll clean those things up and then we make recommendations to the team as far as um how to optimize the website you know for the search engines um mm -hmm. and set them up for success moving forward they can partner with us we're going to be their digital marketing partner so i think that if, for somebody who's looking for an agency that that would be one of the most important things to to see. I think our success is defined by a client success. So I think that that's how it has been. I think that that continues to to be the case. Um, you know, we're we're always kind of evolving and constantly learning more about um, you know current best practices and the performance of our clients to be able to tweak what it is we're doing for our clients. Fortala's growth comes from the strategy that they focus on. This includes their five factors of digital marketing in their local healthcare provider vertical. Um, we have the five factors of digital marketing success, which is our approach to, to digital marketing, which um, includes high converting websites, uh, traffic, which could include both SEO and you know paid ads, email marketing, reviews, and social media. So those are kind of the different areas um, that we focus on and we, we refer to like the five factors of digital marketing success often in our conversations um, internally and and with our clients looking at each of those areas and identifying you know what we can work on proactively. Fortala determines the needs of each individual client and then connects them with the right service plans. We have a team of people here um, that come together to determine you know so Sherry's team provides provides the details of, they do the research on the client, what, how they're currently performing, what area they're in, um, who their competitors might be, how many competitors they might be, you know, things like that. As the agency scaled and SEO practices change over the years, it's that extra level of support included in the ultimate plan, which has seen great success. Premium used to be, you know, top of the line, everything, you know, everything included. And what we were running into is that SEO and digital marketing in general has changed so much through the years that, um, you know, the, the need for a new plan, it, it wasn't scalable to give all of our clients all of the things that they need. And so, you know, we hired some new team members on the SEO team to um, be able to put that extra, so that they, we would have the time to put that extra love into those clients. We have some clients where, you know, in my pre-sale review, I, you know, I say, hey, we can do all of this on the premium plan. They don't, they don't need to upgrade. Um, and they sign on for ultimate anyway, because they want that extra level of service. But the one thing it does include that none of our other plans include is um, exclusivity for their area. So, I mean, I think the first, you know, there was two out of the first few that we sold that literally just wanted to pay. So for exclusivity, so that we would not, you know, um, so have any premium sites, we would not be supporting any premium or I'm sorry, ultimate sites in, you know, a certain radius of their, their offer. Yeah. Nobody else in that area will be getting the same level of service as they, as they are. One thing has been very clear when speaking to the team members at Portalo. Investing in people always translates to a successful growing business. Building a talented team isn't just how you recruit, it's about building a culture that supports creative thinking. I encourage ideas, I, I want collaboration, you know, especially SEO things change almost daily, you know, and I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts, you know, Joy Hawkins says this, what do you think? You know what I mean? And, and, and I encourage that, that discussion. You know, there are no bad ideas. You know, I look at SEO as a science and science only progresses um, with collaboration and experimentation, right? Culture is really important to us. And it's, and again, I, I've said the word intention a lot um, during this call, but it, you, you have to, you have to be intentional because we aren't, I'm not sitting next to Heather or Sherry. I'm not able to just stop in and check and see how they're doing or, um, you know, you can't, because I can't physically see them. If I could, you know, I might know when something's wrong or when they're stressed or overwhelmed or they may need some help. We give the entire company, you know, if there's something that you would like to learn that you have an interest in, um, we try to make that happen for you because, you know, we want you to grow. And as we grow, we're able to help our clients grow. It makes us better at what we do so that we can help them better. Working on the growth of our people translates and our company translates to our clients. 
The Votala story is a great example of how specialization in a niche leads to client success driven growth. With strategies such as developing the five factors to local healthcare marketing, scalable packages, and investing in their people, Votala is looking to enhancing their skill sets and growing their international team even further. Looking for more details on Votala and the Votala success story? Check out our blog where you can find even more information. See you in the next agency combinator video from Agency Analytics.